landscape photography, just some local stuff because uh, you can't go anywhere too far just now, so it's very local. So. so who knows what we'll do, but I uh, thought I'd bring you along, do a wee video and uh, the joys I get up at half past four in the morning, sorry leaving at half past four, I'm in my bed for four to get here. So uh, yeah, okay, so I'll talk to you a bit further along the road. Okay, so just stopped along the road. I always wanted to photograph this tree up here. It looks really windswept and obviously it's battered with the wind continuously. But um, it's not the best place to get stopped and you're kind of miles from nowhere. But I thought I'd get us a longer lens on and stop further back and maybe I'd be lucky to get something. Um, I'll give it a go, but that's the plan. So uh, we'll see how it goes in a moment or two. Well, that was short and sweet. <laughs> Just say, short and bloody cold. It's uh, springtime, black summer time actually now. It's uh, 60 degrees out there, bloody freezing. Anyway, got a couple of quick shots, so we'll see what they'll like. Get them back home. We still have a, a difficult one to Got a decent composition with. Um, it's, uh, getting stopped, this road can get a bit busy. So, yeah, anyway, got a couple of shots. They might be alright. They might not be. So, we'll move on to our next destination. See what that brings us. Down to a, a, a small local landmark. It's not as small as it's quite large, but um, stone is Loudon Hill, where I believe there was some historic battles fought there um, previous lifetimes ago. But uh, that makes it quite a nice uh, composition. It's where the, the beginnings of the, the River Irvin start from. Um, so there's this. It's more of a stream than a river, to be fair, at, that, at this stage, but um, we'll go down and give it a go.
it's quite a nice morning. Some lovely blues and grey colour tones in the sky. So this is Loudon Hill. Um, and the valley in front of it. This is the start of the River Irvine. You can just see the stream starts up here and gently winds its way down. There's a small bridge down here in front of this hill, so the plan is to go down and get a, a picture there using the bridge's sort of foreground interest leading up the hill into the hill. And if we get down sharpish enough, we should get some nice colour tones in the sky. They're looking promising, so yeah, we'll give it a go. There we are, there's the, the small bridge. There's not a lot of water in the, the uh, quote, <laughs> river. As I said, it's pretty much a stream up here. But, um, it makes a lot of foreground interest. Um, we'll go down and try and get a, get ourselves in a good position, get a bit of composition. And uh, get a couple of nice shots, hopefully. Okay, well, we found this, uh, this composition here, the bridge going across it, the burn or stream, what you want to call it, underneath it, and a bit of yellow gorse up and onto the hill. So, we're going to have to do a focus stack, um, probably three images, but two would, two would probably realistically do it. Um, just the, the focal range is just mm -hmm. squeezing for whatever they are, but shooting F11, ISO 64, take the first shot of the bridge, closest point to me, F11, I've got my foot off that, set a two second timer up. There's the first one in the bag, and again, we'll go up again. The centre of the image, two seconds shot again, and one more at the top, which is totally, completely unnecessary, but we'll try it now. So. Right, so that's my three shots. Um, hopefully, they'll not be too bad. Turn it all right, a bit of luck. So, yeah, I'll put one up. You can let me know what you think. And we'll try and uh, move along and get another shot at something else here. I think I'll take an RV shot here. It's quite a nice shot down through that valley onto the white um, farm building or something that's down there. In fact, you know what it is? It's, it's uh, an old hotel. I think it's the, the Loudon Inn or Hotel or something, but which is down, if I can try and zoom in for you, way down there. But anyway, it looks quite a nice shot, so we'll have a wee go at this one as well. We'll set it up and fire a shot down that way. Okay, so we've uh, set it up. We've got compositions through the valley. We've got the nice trees on the right. So I'm leading out the hill, which is a nice shot. The small river winding through the valley down into the foreground and onto 
uh, the building which is the uh, Loudon Hill Hotel. So uh, we're all pretty much ready to go, just a wee final tweak, we'll hold the tripod because the ground's a bit spongy. Uh, we've got a 0.6 soft grad on top. And there we go. Shooting at one eighth of a second at F11. That's actually not too bad. The colours look quite vibrant. But yeah, I'll pop on the screen and uh, show you it when we get back. Okay, so back to the the car we go. Um, so uh, hopefully uh, the next video. <laughs> Although we're a complete disaster, but I know it is. But uh, so we'll go and uh, we'll take it home and uh, get a couple of shots and uh, bring a couple of shots up on the computer, and I'll I'll show you them when I pull this together. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> pull it together. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, back to the car, get packed up. So uh, we'll uh, see you on the other side. Let me know <laughs> if, it, if it's uh, of any value of any entertainment of uh, any sorts and I'll uh, maybe catch you next time. Tara for now.